Hey guys, it's Marlo back again with another unboxing and review. And today I have a new Hot Toys figure. I got this in maybe a couple weeks ago now, but just haven't had the time to unbox it. I kind of find it harder to do the Hot Toys unboxings just because they're larger figures and have so many more accessories and just seem to be more involved with uh, the unboxings and showing all the details. But hopefully tonight I can go over everything you know fairly quickly with you guys i know there's a ton of reviews on this already this is for the star wars boba fett vintage color figure and uh yeah this is the shipper box so let me go ahead and open it up and get going on this review and out of the box you can see the figure is in a really gorgeous looking vintage style box here still have the plastic wrap so that's how he comes in the shipper box but just wanted to show you that real quick so let me get the plastic off to give you guys a better look and with the plastic wrap off we can take a better look at this vintage color uh, style 12 inch figure a lot better sorry I'm a bit distracted it just looks really awesome now this is the first Hot Toys Boba Fett I have in the collection. I really just kind of slept on Boba Fett because at the time I already had a few of these sideshow figures. I just had a ton of Boba Fetts in the collection already. And I was just kind of uh, over the whole Boba Fett thing. I was just like, gosh, there's just too much out there. Let's see, there's not much to read there. If you want, you can pause the video. I don't think there's anything too important to read there. The other side, showing some of the details of the figure. Wow, just really excited to open this guy up. Let's see, what does it say there? Da -da 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 -da. Again, pause the video if you want to read all that. Now, those of you who might not be familiar, you youngsters out there, this is uh, basically honoring the vintage figure, the way he looked when he first showed up. This is one of the recent retro style uh, Boba Fett figures that just came out that kind of emulate that original Boba Fett. I do actually have one mint on card in the collection. Again, it's packed away, but for an example, I'm just going to show you this uh, retro style figure, which was just released not too long ago and again they're trying to emulate that vintage look of the old cards uh, there's nothing special on the back but the older cards would have the characters on the back i forget how many uh figures were on the back i guess there was like a i don't know 12 back or 24 back or something like that kind of lost track of all that stuff but uh this is the figure in box so Let's go ahead and open them up and take a closer look at them out of package. So here we have the figure out of the box just to give you guys an idea of how he comes housed in his clamshell trays. At the bottom of course we have the instruction booklet so let's see I don't know if I can lift this off with one hand. There we go, we got that off so we can get a better look at what comes inside. You can see his blasters there, his jetpack, some of the tools that go down there at the bottom of his uh, legs and the pockets, all the extra hands. Looks like the display stand back there. And again, he just looks really awesome. Just love that vintage style coloring. Again, just like the old figure, the way he looked back in the day, emulating those colors. That green, the red gauntlet, that sort of a uh, grayish blue color to the uh, jumpsuit there. I don't know, just uh, really hits the, uh, oops, the right spot for you guys that are into the old stuff and grew up with that old figure just dropped all the hands 
So anyways, let me get this figure out of the uh, clamshell here and give you guys a closer look at him out of the package. And we have everything out of the clamshell just to give you guys an overview of all the accessories. But before we take a closer look at all that, I wanted to show you guys the instruction uh, sheet that comes with it. So real quick, again, pause the video at any time if you wanted to look at any of these details a little bit more carefully. It shows you where to place all the tools. Details for the pistol or the blaster and the holster. What not to do with the uh, rangefinder antenna thing. And I think that's more or less it. See some credits there, yeah. For those who are interested and the people involved with the making. And the back side I thought was pretty cool. It's basically a uh, Empire Strikes Back poster printed in sort of this sort of gold color. Sorry about the lighting, it's kind of reflecting everything badly, but you guys hopefully are familiar with that image. There you go. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. But yeah, that classic Empire Strikes Back artwork there. So pretty cool. Alright, so moving on to the accessories. We have his jetpack, as you can see there. Again, I don't own any of the Hot Toys Boba Fett figures yet. I slept on the Return of the Jedi figure, which I am now regretting, so hopefully I can track that down later on, but I do have the Empire Strikes Back version on order, the deluxe version, so I'll eventually be adding that to the collection. You can see he comes with two extra right hand, right hands, basically, and then two, or not two, but three extra left hands. Again, the tools to insert into the shin pockets down there. Of course his blaster with the stock there and the other smaller blaster and some extra pegs. The stand is pretty basic but you get that nice shiny uh, nameplate there with the crotch grabber type stand. We have the vintage uh, retro carded figure there in the background to show again the inspiration for this figure right here. So, let's see, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details on this guy. You can see the Wookiee hairs there, looking pretty cool. And the details there on the armor, nice. They didn't go too crazy with the bow damaged effects, again, they didn't want to stray too far from that vintage look. So it's kind of a nice uh, in-between, basically. Somewhat clean, yet showing those funky retro colors. And uh, I imagine if you have the Return of the Jedi version, I think this is going to be quite similar. Or, I don't know if this is based off of more the Empire Strikes Back version. So, until I get that figure in hand, I can't really compare, but, uh, hmm. I mean, this is supposed to be the Empire Strikes Back version, so I'm assuming that when I get that, it's going to be closer in uh, look and design to that figure. I know there are like differences in the belt, stuff like that, like different pockets and whatnot on the Return of the Jedi one. Uh, the main thing is, of course, the coloration on the Return of the Jedi version. I think he had red gauntlets, whereas the Empire version, he had more of the kind of gray colored gauntlets. Stuff like that. You you Boba Fett experts out there would know the difference. So, yeah. Just kind of talking while giving you guys a look at all the details there. Nice weathered cape. That's really cool. That's something that the Sideshow figure did not have. And let me see if I can go ahead and show you some of the articulation. Though I'm sure you guys don't really need to see all that. There's the underside of the head a little bit. Don't know if you can see that. Basically a ball joint, so you get good range of motion there with the head. 
the rangefinder does go up and down. Just got to be careful. Don't want to break that. Most definitely. Of course, the arms do go out. Get a good bend. He's nice and stiff on uh, my, on my figure here. All the joints seem really sturdy. Oh, I don't want to mess around too much with it. A little bit of an ab crunch. Going to be a bit hindered with the armor. Of course, ball joints here at the wrists. Arms go out. Legs do go out pretty good, as well as forward. Double joints at the knee, it appears. And all kinds of rotation there with the feet. So, yeah. I mean, what do you expect from Hot Toys? I mean, you're going to get some really great articulation and details. So, anyways, let me try to get him a bit better situated. Let me get the... Uh, hands probably swapped out, the tools in the right position, as well, as well as the blasters, and hopefully I can hook on this jetpack pretty good. I know it's kind of tricky with these hooks, so hopefully I can get that on there okay. So, let me get this guy situated. And here he is, fully decked out with his two blasters. One of them I put in the holster there on the side. And of course the other one there with the uh, stock in hand. Kind of a vanilla pose. Just wanted to kind of show you guys all the details on this guy. He is just awesome looking. And again a quick comparison with that retro figure. Again just showing the colors and the inspiration for this figure. Might not be a figure for everyone but for those of you that definitely grew up with that original Boba Fett figure. This is definitely gonna please you guys out there. So again just some views of the details on this guy. Blaster. Some nice details there on the stock. Of course, the braided Wookiee hairs, or scalps. This is a fabric material. And uh, I remember on the Sideshow versions, these were all like a solid piece of plastic. But this is actually a nice fabric under the armor. So that's kind of cool. All the little details there on the gauntlets. Got the tools in the right place, at least according to the instructions. And yeah, just to cover up that joint a little bit, just move the gauntlets around. Again, you can see the details there on that. Again, just a little bit of weathering on the helmet and in certain spots here, like on the jetpack. Not too much to take away from, again, that sort of retro style. And the cape does have wiring, like I mentioned earlier, so you can style that any way you want to have it flowing and blowing in the wind, sort of how I have them there, or, you know, just having it draped down. And for the heck of it, let's go ahead and measure this guy. He is a 1-6 scale figure and he does come in a, exactly, looks like 12 inches to the top of his helmet. Of course a little bit taller if you're going to measure that range finder. Probably a little bit closer to maybe 12 and a half if you measure to the top of that range finder. Alright. So that's more or less it. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing and give you guys a quick look at this new addition to my collection. So the hunt is on now for that Return of the Jedi Hot Toys figure, which I need to pick up. And as soon as I get my uh, Deluxe Empire Strikes Back Hot Toys figure in, I'll do a nice comparison if I can. And I'll be looking forward to unboxing that figure as well. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. As always, stay safe guys, keep on collecting, 
And I will see you all next time. There's that blaster. Oh, this little piece there, yeah. Supposed to snap into that section there, but I didn't want to force it. But uh, yeah, I'm sure with a little work you can snap the little strap in over there. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, take care, guys. Bye-bye.